Oh my. Before we get started, I guess I will just make it very clear. You could absolutely beat me in a game of basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so short. And I actually thought you were even taller because the way you, in all your pictures you're standing mm. beside people, they look like they're <laughs> – I mean, you, how tall are you? Like 5'10 and a half maybe. Isn't it so bad when I think that 5'10 is like, Sha <laughs> like Shaquille O'Neal? I'm like, fuck, I've been short my whole life. I, You will beat me in a game of basketball. <clears throat> yes, I have zero talent for that. So, yeah. <sighs> All right, we'll dive into it in a minute here. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And this is Shot 30 Podcast, and I am Shane Newbert. And today I have a very special guest, actually – recommended by multiple people which is really? very awesome yes um uh, miss judy creighton is in the studio today <laughs> now judy you have there's so much to you but i just want to start out with my favorite thing about you okay the fact that you love everybody <laughs> you are like one of the most supportive people I mean, yeah, unless it's maybe talking about Bears Packers or something <laughs> like that. You are literally always lifting people up, supporting shit. Even the other day, it was, um, what was the one the other day? It was, um, a poly, I don't know the word, polyamorous. Oh, yeah. Like, even mm -hmm. that, I was like, dude, this woman literally loves everybody. Where does that come from, from you? I don't really know. I, I think. Part of it has to do that the world is just cruel mm -hmm. and there's just, I see what everybody else goes through and I, it's just natural for me, I think. It's just, I don't judge anybody. I mean, if you tell me that you dress up in cosplay as a purple leprechaun and you relate to it, great. I don't know. You know like, I, I do the same. I, I love everybody and I love supporting everybody. But I do think that the furries are a bit much for me. <laughs> I do think that's a bit much. There's, um, there's definitely a lot of things that are not my taste. And I think yeah. because I'm so supportive and I just, I love... I guess you say, like, I love everybody. People just automatically assume that I'm with that or, like, I like that kind of stuff, which is not always the case. But, okay, and so, like, with all, all, all of this stuff, you are, I mean, we're going to dive into, this is just kind of the quick little briefing at the beginning, but also with your, photo like, all your pictures and stuff, incredible, and... You also do a lot of other things, and you have quite a history on you. I mean, not in a bad way, an incredible history. Yeah. And so we're going to dive into it right after. Shot 30 Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox, YouTube, all those things. If you guys are watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you guys are listening on one of the podcast apps, please leave a review. It helps us out a bunch. And yeah, so, okay, so now were you in a car accident? I was back in high school. And it it was a it wasn't a very good one. No, uh at first uh the doctors I guess thought I was going to be paralyzed um because I broke my back in three places and then they thought I was going to have brain damage because I had two skull fractures and then like a laceration on top of one of them which you can still see the scar. Mhm. Mm but it was bad. I spent about a month in the hospital and then I had a hospital bed at home. If I had to be up like past like a 45 degree angle, mm -hmm. I had to have like this turtle shell brace on. Did you have like one of those like, uh, oh, the, the halos? Yeah. No. That'd be so cool though. No. <laughs> I wish I had one just to wear as a Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, it knocked out my memory. Like, I don't remember, I don't remember anything of my past, which I kind of think maybe is how I, the reason why I am the way I am. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't remember anything. I do remember bits and pieces. Um, and what age is this? This is high school. I want to say I was a junior in high school. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I was a senior in high school, I actually, 
Um, we were in. I was I was a pretty good football player, and we had advanced to the playoffs and blah blah blah. I think we were ranked like number two or three in state or something like that. And I took a kickoff return in a walk through practice, and me and another guy hit head to head. Oh yeah. I lost my memory. Yeah. Um, for quite some time, and I thought like my ex girlfriend was my current girlfriend, which wasn't good <laughs> with the, the current girlfriend. Like, I mean, I don't know. It was it was wild. But when you have stuff like that happen, it is it changes everything. I mean, it was especially for you, like to lose all of it and not get yeah. it back. Mm-mm. So, did you have to like reintroduce yourself to your parents and stuff like that to get to like know them or no? I knew who I was then, but the memory faded as I got older, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was right away. I think it was just kind of, as I was kind of healing, that's when they kind of realized that I had, you know, brain damage and stuff. But it's been hard. Do you think it affects you to, I mean, of course it's always going to affect you, but do you think like it it affects anything with your day-to-day life today? I. And it does in a way where it it really does hurt because I can't remember, like, people. Like, I can't remember. My daughter's 13, and I can't remember, like, her birth. And that wasn't even too long ago. Mm -hmm. So there's something else that they think is going on. But, I mean, when people talk about high school and stuff, I... Okay. Wow. (laughs) So it's just all blank. So you, like, look at pictures of yourself, and you're like... What? What is this? Yeah. Like, I know people, I know I went to high school with them because it's fact, but when I was looking back, because I was on the dance team, when I was looking back at our competition pictures, and I was in dance too, like, I don't, I, there's and you pictures, were, I just, I don't see them. And I've had people tell me you were very good. You were very good. I like to think so. I have seen some videos. Um, it's, I remember feelings, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, I mean, I competed. I loved it. Like doing the splits? Because yeah. if I ever do that, I'll probably never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, so I have something crazy. This has absolutely nothing to do with about this podcast at all. It's just, so yesterday at about 3 o'clock, I got my second COVID shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. How you feeling? I went to work this morning. I was so messed up. You would have thought I was a dead man this morning. I turned my heat. I, I had to come home from work. I was so sick. And I was like, I know I've got this podcast tonight. Like, I got to get better. Yeah. I was so sick. I turned my truck heat all the way up to 95. And I sat in the truck and fell asleep because I was so cold. And I was so messed up. I was shivering. I was just shivering so bad. My whole body, was, I, I have no idea what the hell hit me. So like, now, I mean, I'm just warm, but... I, yeah, I feel I feel great compared to this morning. Yeah, I was it messed is, up. It's awful. I remember my sister never gets sick, and she was dying. Well, Timory, Timory's hands, she couldn't open her hands. It was really? very yeah. She was like, like kept trying to open because she's I heard that. Yeah, she's she has she had to get her shot because she works at the prison. Yeah, and so. I mean, I don't know. Everybody can do whatever they want. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to say, be ready for that second shot because yeah. whew, that was rough. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and you want to know what isn't rough? We, if you just use one of those basic razors, oh, that's always it's always going to be rough. But if you use Manscaped and use the promo code SHOT30 at Manscaped.com, you're going to get 20% off plus free shipping at Manscaped. They have changed the game in men's below-the-waist grooming. Visit Manscaped.com today and use the promo code SHOT30. You ever used Manscaped before? Uh, no. It actually is pretty cool. Like I've heard a lot about it, though. You can use it in yeah. the shower, like an electric trimmer. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty smooth. But, okay, so now with all of your photography stuff, mm-hmm. I would have thought from all of the... You haven't done burlesque, right? No. I, I you know, like... Just from the amount of people in burlesque that give you all the love in the world, I would have absolutely guessed, like, you do burlesque. Like, nope. And so when I found out that you didn't, I thought that was <laughs> incredible. So you got into, you just love, ta- you lo- love taking pictures? I do. Um, a friend of mine actually told me that I needed to get into it um, and just kind of do it. And so I do it. It's for fun. It's a nice little hobby. Um, but also I also use my platform to be a 
image or a voice for anybody with body issues. I don't care if you're plus size. I don't care if you're thin and petite. Like, everybody has the same body issues. Mm -hmm. So Everybody looks at themselves and feel flawed in a million different ways. You know, you can be... You know, it's kind of like the when people make reference to... Oh, yeah, Will Smith hates his life. He has all the money in the world. You know, it's like you can have all the money in the world. That doesn't mean you're happy. It doesn't oh, yeah. mean that, you know, that it, uh, just because you have money or just because you're handsome or, you know, like idea of handsome or yep. beautiful, you know, it, that, that doesn't change what goes on in a person's mind. No, no. I I think it's super important to really showcase and just portray that confidence because you're inspired. I did inspire. I've had women reach out to me and they've sent me their boudoir photos. They're like, look what they did because of you. And I'm like, yeah. Do they send you their boobs? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of my friends do, but that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, because I saw your picture, well, the picture the other day, like when your girls pop out to say hi or something like well, that's that. that's the one I posted today. I oh, mean, was it today? I love it though. Like, there's everybody loves something on their body, and mine happens to be my boobs. Yeah. So I'm like, come on, hello. Yeah, I, I wish I loved my boobs, but I don't <laughs> think that they're supposed to be there. <laughs> Not from what they used to look like. They used to be rock hard, and there's like a picture right there on the wall. I used to, I, I looked way different back in the day, but. Hey, it's all because I don't work out. It's because I love Fireball, you know? <laughs> but I think that is incredible. And for you to, I mean, it is hotter than fuck in here. I'm just going to say. It is a little warm. Yeah. And I'm drinking the Fireball. I have COVID injected inside of my body. <laughs> but I do need to get a, some sort of, oh, well, I have that thing, I guess. But it's too loud. Um, but anyways, yeah, so for you to be such a body positive person and then also push that love on everybody, it's just incredible. It's incredible that you've had a very dark type of history too. And, and that is always, I always, I always reference that back to myself because I've had such a terrible past with a lot of really bad things. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I was like, I always want to be the person who makes people feel better even though mm -hmm. i'm like hurting real bad and yeah. stuff like that i want to be the person that makes people feel better and you do that for a lot of people you really do except for when it comes to bacon and the green bay <laughs> packers so I know. what is your oh no 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 what it what it who's it, who what's the name on there it was my dad he passed away in 08 he's a big packer fan yeah we watched the games together uh yeah i mean you and you it's not like you just watch football. You understand it. Like it's, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of your oh, complaints about the Packers. No one, <laughs> no one, no one's concerned about that in this house. Yeah, but I knew what I was walking into when I saw your bear stuff. Oh yeah, you yeah. should see my bear's closet. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty where that came from. <laughs> but so yeah, you used to watch the the Bears games with your dad, and then. Packers, or, not bears. Or, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, Jesus. That, that was almost a slip up, man. But no, and so you just fell in love with football or? I did. I mean, I'll watch the other games just to kind of watch, but I really get in to my Packers. You got a little bit of a Packer uh, hairstyle right now. That was a happy accident, but I mean, yeah. I did have green in there one time. Well, you've had a lot of... You change your hair up all the time. And you want to know the best thing? Oh. I never know what it's going to look like. Yeah. I just you, let them do whatever. You just blindfold yourself and then, oh, you go you go to somebody and just tell them to do whatever? Yeah. There you go. Do you ever have your hair, like, uh, long? I had it long way, way back. Way, way back. And I'll never go long again. Do you remember it? No. <laughs> I see pictures, but yeah, I don't, it's been, it's been over decades. It's been at least a couple of decades. It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, and you, you are absolutely beautiful and stunning. And like, I love your pictures and thank you. So, I mean, and a lot of them are very, I don't know, just some of the, like the photographers and stuff in the area, man, they're very talented and they are. I'm totally taking this up by the way. You're absolutely fine. I'm thinking about taking mine off as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, but oh yeah, it definitely is warm. I probably should, I don't know. I don't know if I want to turn that thing on though. It's just so loud. That's okay. 
But, um, so yeah, with your photography stuff now, when did that start? Because is it just something like you, you just wanted to push? I don't know. Oh when did that start? At least. Cause it's, there, there's a lot, you have a lot five, on there. Four years ago, five mm-hmm. years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right around then. Yeah. And so, well, and you don't do Halloween shoots, huh? No, I can't get into Halloween. Well, and uh, what's the reason behind that? I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like it, which is weird because ninety nine percent of my friends are Halloween enthusiasts. Oh yeah, and I love them for it because they get creative. They get just. I feel like we're doing this podcast in Arizona right now. <laughs> Jesus, we're both sweating our asses off. Okay. <laughs> I'm it's so just, sorry. It's okay. It's usually not that warm in here. I don't know what the hell's going on, but well, we are. I am drinking alcohol too, but yeah, yeah. And so am I, and and that beautiful koozie is for you. Oh, thank you. Says, Sorry, we, I wish I, we had more, but we have had <laughs> such a busy schedule lately. That's good. Uh, okay, so but now you're a Christmas fan, though. I love Christmas. Yeah, me too. Because it'd be way cooler down here right now. I hate snow, but I love Christmas. What? I do. How do you hate snow? I hate cold. What? I don't like, okay, I don't like clothes. As you can tell, like, less is better for me. I understand. I hate clothes. Okay. So when winter comes, I'm like, ugh, like you got to put on layers. That's and... your own choice. You just don't, you don't have to put on clothes. But, well, if I go out, I do. It's kind of a legal thing. Well, where is it, where is it that it's, not, you don't have to, is it? Is there states – okay, maybe I'm just going to sound like a complete idiot here. Is there states where you don't have to wear a shirt or bra? Um, Actually, up here, as long as you have, like, pasties covering the, like, areolas and stuff, you're good. Doesn't that sound like – okay, so you uh, – where, wait, where's that? You're just saying that you're good? Here. In Illinois? Well, yeah. So you and me could just walk around with pasties on? I'd have to have something underneath, but, yeah, I mean – What do you mean something underneath? Underneath well, our like, pasties? Like our nipple? Bottom. Like bottoms. Oh, on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, like bottoms. But I mean, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know. So why don't I ever see anybody doing that? Because I'm all about it. Um, people don't really respond well to that. I wore some pretty revealing outfits, and I do get looks. Mm-hmm. I don't really care, but I, I do get looks, and I do know that people just. You know, I had this one outfit. I was literally, it was like a dress like this, and I was told I was showing too much. Uh, yeah, by a was it man, man or woman? It was a woman, and to me, I'm like, well, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm plenty covered up. My chest just happens to be like eight times bigger than yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. Dude, one of my favorite ones, so there's this woman with really huge boobs, and she smashes all the beer cans. Have you ever seen her? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm like, it's got to hurt, though. There's nerve endings in that. I don't know. <laughs> You've never tried it before? No. I like my <laughs> girls too much. I won't put them through that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't punish them? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I don't, I don't know that yet. Like, um, because the one of the big things in the world right now is like that, um, like breastfeeding in public. I'm all for it. I, I mean, I, for me, I just don't care. Like, no, not that, not that I. When I say this, it's the same thing. Like when I talk about politics and stuff, like I don't care because it doesn't bug me in any way whatsoever. Like I'm not going to get into it in any way. I just don't care. I don't care what people do. Like not really either. don't touch little kids and, uh, <laughs> to, you know, like don't murder people. And I just, then other than that, I just, I, it's, it's, it's so, it's so difficult. It takes so much time and effort to worry about what everybody else is doing in the world. I just don't let it bug me. I really don't. Yeah, that's that's the same way I am. If people have, if people go out of your way to degrade you or insult you, more than likely there's some sort of underlying issue there. Yeah. So I just don't let it get to me. Mm-hmm. Half the time, if you tell me something, you're gonna remember anyway. So knock yourself out. <laughs> you're like a, you're like a door finding Dory. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps sort of Pete Sherman forty two right? Wallaby Way Sydney. <laughs> but yeah, like even when so like our TikTok when it went mega mega viral, our TikTok went crazy viral. Yeah. And people, what what I went viral for is I had two pairs of sweatpants. I cut off the leg of the second. Oh, was that pair. the one you said got like taken away? 
Um, no, yeah, well, I mean, I've been losing a ton of followers just yeah. because I can't post on it, but essentially I was famous for having the world's largest penis. Oh. And yeah, so I I filled the other leg with stuffing and I sewed it to the other pair of sweatpants and I did all kinds of crazy shit. I was Spider-Man, just like, just doing all kinds of goofy, but people were legitimately mad because I, I was making fun of people with elephantitis. And I'm like, come on. Like, where are we right now? I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm only here to just try to make you chuckle or laugh. I don't know. I don't know why we're doing this right now. It's, I don't get it. I, I don't. It's a lot of people. I'm so sorry. It's so warm in here. Do you, I, I'm like naturally like hot blooded. So. All right. I'm going to turn this thing on. Do, like, do a promotion for like butt plugs or something. <laughs> I don't even think I have anything like that. Alright. There we go. That's not that bad. This will be better. Oh, oh, I just hit it with my boobs. You just titted the mic. I did. Oh, that's already so much better. <laughs> Shit, that wasn't a bad move. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Was something about butt plugs? Oh, have you ever seen those <laughs> raccoon tails and stuff? Those raccoon and fox tails? Well, I mean, like, around the waist, kind of. No, the ones that actually go in your butt. I have not. Yeah, so they have, like, it's, like, real fur, like, fox and tails. And it goes in your butt? It's a butt plug. You know I'm going to have to Google this later, right? Oh, yeah, we can Google. I'll put a picture of one <laughs> right here. There's going to be one right here in the video. But, yeah, no, it's, like, a legitimate thing, because I, I think I bought Timory one, and it's upstairs, so... So yeah, she could probably just show you hers after. I love it. Yeah, we'll like, we'll like have her get in the trash can and be like, "Hey, what Let are you be doing?" Show and tell. Dude, yeah, we'll make a porn parody real fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just have her in the trash. Man, they've been attacking our trash cans too lately. Man, they've been getting in every single day. But speaking of Mrs. Newbies, Mrs. Newbies is upstairs right now. Put it, put it in the work. Visit Mrs. Newbies Cakes and Cookies for. Um, your favorite, most beautiful cupcakes, cakes, cookies, delights, custom made for weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, everything in between. Visit Mrs. Doobie's Cakes and Cookies on Facebook and Instagram today and put in your orders. Also, the showdown on 67, October 9th. I'm a judge and Jason Waits, he is a pit master. He was just on the podcast. That episode was uploaded well, today, but I don't know when this episode will be up, so it won't be the same day as today, because this episode will be up today, <laughs> when it's today. <laughs> but yeah, show up to the show, Viola, Illinois, for the Barbecue World Competition. Sorry, yeah, there's a lot of today's. You're really sweating right now. You got some be you got a bead working up right there. You're glistening. I know. You look like um. I'm so hot right now. I'm so, I'm sorry. This will cool it <laughs> off in here quick. It'll it'll cool. now. Okay, so uh, okay. speaking of barbecue and all this shit, now you're you are a big. I mean teriyaki burgers, <laughs> every, everything in between. You love to cook. I do. Yeah, and so. What? Where did that come from? Is it like uh, just a hobby? Is it just something? Because you, you don't just cook. You really put detail into your cooking. Yeah. I just, I love to cook. I love experimenting. I love asking for taste testers. I'll have my friends just come over and try it. And But for me, like, if you don't like it, it's fine. Because not everybody has the same, you know, uh, taste buds. Uh -huh. So I'm like, it's fine. It's totally fine. But um, I love cooking. You know, I love trying new things. Um, I, I don't know. I just got into it. Are you a, uh, like a seasoning person? Yeah. I have like an entire cupboard full of seasonings. Have you ever tried Flavor God? Uh-uh. Flavor God is like, okay, so when I first got it, I thought that the logo and everything looked so cool and the flavors that they have look so cool. Um, but we got the stuff here. It was like pizza flavoring and cinnamon roll and... I mean, all this different things. Well, it's supposed to be like a healthy seasoning. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Like, I'll take that pizza. It's like no salt. I'm still putting salt on it. You know, really? Like, oh, yeah. But it is incredibly good. Oh, my gosh. 
I am so sorry. You're sweating so bad right now. It is literally like we're doing a podcast in a sauna right now. <laughs> and I am the same exact way. I don't know if this has ever been this way in here. Ever one yeah, time. In that's all right. A hundred and, well, this will be 112. <laughs> 112 episodes. Just like sit here and like fan myself. <laughs> yeah, we we should just go get one of those big ass fans in here and we'll like do like a, like a Marilyn Monroe scene. <laughs> Now, do you know much about Marilyn Monroe? Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I know she was pretty badass. I mean, she had a really good relationship with uh, Ella Fitzgerald, so. Who? Or no, it was Etta James. It was Etta James. Yeah, and yeah, well, yeah. I just listened, I just listened to this whole thing about her. I didn't know that she was hooking up with JFK and JFK's brother. Well, I mean, it was what, the 60s, 50s, right? Yeah, I mean everybody was. And and uh oh god, I can't forget I can't I forgot his name. Um he has the hit record in baseball, whatever, the most consecutive games or whatever. But yeah, dude, she was really I guess she was there's a huge conspiracy whether she was murdered or not r- um, rather than You know, I don't know, but I know she was definitely one of the curvy women. Mm-hmm. Like she owned it up. Yeah. And I love her for that. Yeah, and she was well they they talked about a lot in this thing as that she was really struggling with the fact that they just wanted her to be the dumb blonde and everything that she was in and all the movies and stuff she was right. in. And she was like, I don't want to be this. And, nope. yeah, and that's where we're changing in today's world because you're not locked into anything. Because, you know, like I didn't like – I like to, to give you an example. Like Melissa McCarthy. Hey, right. I hated her. I hated her. And when I, when I give you this reason, you're going to be like, wait, wait. What are you trying to say here? I hated her that she had to to be funny in a movie or to get a role. She had to be an overweight, ob- like, obnoxious person. Like the punchline? I mean, I just, yeah, like all of her early career stuff. And then she's in things like now, like Nine Strangers, where I'm in love with Melissa McCarthy. I have yet to see that. It's so good. What's it about? It's about uh, nine people who go to a rehab facility um they all have really bad things going on in their life and nicole kidman is that her? is that is yeah it, yeah yeah is she them yep okay um she is the therapist and she has a very interesting way of rehabbing these people but like melissa mccarthy in that it was great like i love this this her actually being an actress i don't you know like rather than her just playing this the same role for everything she does I like it. Like, I, I, there was one other one where she's playing, there's a movie in where it's her and some guy, but she's actually, like, she's going, like, through, like, fertility issues. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I think it just came out or something. Um, the, the other one was, she played, like, um, it was, like, all those gangsters' wives. Do you know what I'm talking about? All the, like, it was all the gangsters' wives all go to prison, and so them and th- her and two other women decide to just take over. Oh, yeah. And that but shit I don't was, remember that. But that was good, though. Yeah, that was another. Uh, like, I. It's. it's. I just want people to. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, and I'm you. Just hot. I know, and you're pouring sweat right now. I'm like naturally hot blooded. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. We've only got like 20 minutes left. <laughs> That's fine. We've we strolled through a half hour here very fast. You're good. Ugh. But yeah, so like when it comes to like actors and actresses, like I love it when people are doing different things. Like when Jim Carrey did Twenty Three. I haven't seen that one. What? I don't really like movies that are like wholesome and feel good. What's your favorite movie? Boondock Saints. Never seen it. <gasps> don't don't do it back to me. I, I just stopped myself from doing it to you. <laughs> You have to you have to see it. It's like an underground classic. I've heard I've heard about it. I've I've seen I am okay, so like what's some other of your favorite movies? Let's get let's get a couple more in. I here. love the Monuments Men. Never seen it. That one's actually based on a true story. It's got really good actors, but it's about the US soldiers, but it's not they're not soldiers, they're like art collectors and stuff, and they go over to rescue all of the pieces that all the Nazis had hidden and to like redistribute them. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm definitely in for checking it out. So, who's your favorite actor and actress then? Um, I can't answer that. Why? Because I have a ton of them. 
Like, see, I love movies like Pursuit of Happiness. Mm. Will Smith. What? Seven Pounds? No. You don't like that movie? No, I never saw it. It really didn't really stand out to me. Oh, my God. I know. What are we doing? I know. What are we doing? Wait, let me do this. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> what are we doing? I just, I didn't like them. I, I, I just, I like action. I like comedy. I'm not a big martial com- arts. Martial arts movie. Yes. Which, like, which one? Um. Oh well, I mean the latest one is Mortal Kombat. Like, oh I love yeah, Mortal Kombat. I haven't seen that yet, but like, oh, how about I have the, the under- game and everything? Oh yeah, I'm I'm all about the so, game. So like in this game and like the movies were the movie was really really good, but I. Were you a game person? Just for Mortal Kombat. Oh really? None of them. I really don't care. It's just Mortal Kombat is relaxing, and I'll just sit there and I'll play. Do you start sweating like that? This when you no. when you play <laughs> Mortal Kombat? Uh, no. <laughs> I feel terrible. Like it's I, okay, it's starting to feel cooler in here. Oh, de- yeah. Oh yeah. yeah for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. We should put a block of ice and put our feet on it. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's starting to like cool down in here. It, it definitely is. The temperature's dropping outside, which is no weird dip- because it was like freezing upstairs, and then you come in the basement. And it's warm. I don't actually think that it's warm in the basement right now. I think that it's lit. We, for some reason, are both a million degrees. And inside the studio, it, we locked it in. <laughs> because I can tell you, I am sweating just as much as you. Like, I am, like, what in the world? I, I'm going to start having, like, uh, like, pit, like pit, I'm going to start pitting. That's yeah. Okay. That's okay. <sighs> but, yeah, no, like, so I can tell you right now, um, one of the people who gave all of the love in the world for you to be on this sh- um on the podcast was Travis Swanson Cinnamon oh, I love him uh, I, I, he is awesome man he's a wow that mouth is so loud and it's so out there and man I I love him and you know what this is a little Tia story for you but um I first I've only met him in person like maybe two months ago, uh huh. And he had told me that he's been he was kind of like really wanting to friend me, and I'm like, well, here you go, you like, got it. There you go. But I love him. Yeah, I when love you. when when Travis was on the podcast, he got he got him in full drag, and so. <laughs> When now, when it was me and Cinnamon, Cinnamon it was drinking tequila, Ugh. and Cinnamon didn't know when to stop. So <laughs> Cinnamon was outside of my house throwing up tequila. Oh, <laughs> yeah. did the girl know? Oh yeah, <laughs> she did not know what her limit was, and it was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible. And the one thing that made me feel so bad about that when when he when Travis said that he was on his way, he said I didn't want to get in my wig and everything because. I just don't like the the amount of negative and dirty looks and all these things I get on like being in the car and I, I was like, man, dude, like why why is this something we have to deal with? Like you're just being yourself and doing what you want to do, not hurting anybody. You're completely minding your own business and that drives me crazy. And I've actually kind of gotten into conversations where you see all these like professionals wearing skirts and dresses and they're men and everybody's challenging and poking fun of their masculinity and calling them feminine. Mhm. And I, it bugs me. Are you and talking about like celebrities and stuff right now doing celebrities it? Celebrities and you but that's know, kind of been a thing for a long time. It has, but when you put a major basketball player who's very masculine in people's eyes, if you put a dress or if he dresses in a dress with combat boots, people are going to feel some type of way. Who like who did that? I, there some people on Facebook. Okay, gotcha. And I just for me. Fashion is a culture. It has gone back decades, centuries, and if you think about it, I mean, men wore dresses. Uh, uh, yeah. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear whatever I do. I'll, I'll I've, wear. I've also been told that I've been, I'm a little too open-minded for a lot of people. Well, that's just, I mean, that's that's on their basis. Not That's not on your basis. I kind of feel bad. I mean, 
I wish people were as open minded as you know other people, but mm-hmm. no. Yeah, I mean, I like, I'll do it. I'll slap, I'll slap a thong on, and right, dude, I, I find myself a little <laughs> baham, ba- banana hammock, and then I'll get some little satin panties. Actually, yeah, dude, or the right? can the candy ones, you know, like yeah. the, you know, the, remember the candy bracelets. Um, actually, they they have those, and they also have, like, the fruit roll-up, like, thongs. Damn, dude. With what, the way we are right now, you wouldn't want to be eating them. <laughs> those things would be soggy off us right now. I know, now. right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, extra fruit remember, <laughs> Yeah, like the ones that you stick your tongue on, and then you can put the tattoo. <laughs> like, dude, the tattoos would just, we'd be covered. We'd be all inked up. <laughs> well, it happens. Oh, uh, now, yes, I mean... Yeah, Tra- Travis is absolutely great, and I know mm-hmm. that you you have been sharing some stuff about Mary's show coming up. Yes, yes, oh. I love Mary. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's a powerhouse, man. She is. Every time I get near her, I'm like, hi. <laughs> she, I owned up to my once pair. Once Mary came on the podcast. Um, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, oh, she's just so great. She's <laughs> wild, and so I owned up to my deal, and I went to a burlesque. Or Did size? You? Oh, I full committed. It was to Little Nas. Call me what you want. Call me when you. I had oh, my, I saw that. Yeah, that was oh. me. Yeah, I was shaking my ass. I had my legs up in the air. I was hump grinding the chair. <laughs> I didn't care. I was, I owned up to it, and I, yeah, and I had a blast. And I was actually just um because a lot of, when I walked in, like a lot of the women in there, they looked like they were gonna hate me, or they looked like what what the hell is this guy? Do? And by the end, I was thanking them for making them making me feel so comfortable in that yeah. class. And I had a fucking blast. Yeah. I did. I did have a blast. Um, dancing and, and taking some shots of Fireball, I mean, definitely don't go hand in hand. You I, can't really, like, go wrong with that. Like, you really can't. You can't go wrong with Fireball. I can tell not, you. Fireball is gross. No, it's not. Do you want a shot of Fireball? No. Well, well, you're putting your coat on? <laughs> You're putting your coat on? The thing is, like, I don't know. I'm weird. I told you. Like, my internal temperature is, like, all over the place. So now you're cold? <laughs> like, just this side, but I'm okay. <laughs> it's I'm li- all right. It's literally 98 <laughs> degrees near uh, 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 whoa, Nick Lachey. But, uh, okay, so what type, like, I'm going to guess that you're an all over the place type of music person. Uh, every, uh, literally everything but country. Really? Like, classical opera even, but I can't do country. No country at all. Nothing. I actually, my go-to is reggaeton. Reggaeton? What's that? Sounds like a pasta. Latin. Latin? Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So, like, what's a, what's a, like, a Ricky Martin? Think, like, Pitbull and, like, Daddy Yankee. Ricky but, Martin? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of some. Um, Ricky Martin, after he, after he came out. Um, he went into like complete just disappear mode. Mm-hmm. Um, and now he's acting, and he's good. I haven't seen anything he's been in. Um, Versace, the death of Versace, incredible oh, series. Oh, I do want to see that. So good, I'll seriously, that seriously, out. so good. Um, and he was really, really good. And I'll just add in, definitely bonable. Like, <laughs> dude, oh Ricky's looking pretty decent. I mean, for like, he's probably got to be like forty seven, forty eight. Damn, dude, I'll call you daddy any day. Yeah, I think he's married. Do, um, yeah, actually, um, his husband was in, I believe, in Versace as well. I don't. Yeah, I'll have to see it. I don't remember. Yeah, it's good. You'll you'll like it. I, I promise you. Yeah. Do you watch uh, America? Oh, well, you don't like Halloween, or you don't like. So you don't watch American Horror Story. I only like I only like the Coven. Oh, Coven was good. Timory has a yeah. major major uh, girl boner for Evan Peters. Oh no, I can't. No. Yeah, and I'm like, that's just he's a he's a little I too can't. wiry for me. I need I need a man with a little meat on his bones. Somebody that's gonna you know break old daddy's back like Gerard Butler. Or, you know, Have you seen my thighs? I need something like that. <laughs> yeah. I will crush them. Oh, dude, and so, like, well, a lot of people like that's a big thing. Like, people like to be crushed. It is a, it's a, it's a very strong porn topic. Well, if they put their legs between my thighs, I would gladly do it. Yeah, do it. Or just, um, like, like face sitting. That's a big deal too. Like where they like to get suffocated. Yeah, yep. 
Yeah, I'm, just I'm, as long as you have a defibrillator on hand. <laughs> and an EpiPen. <laughs> I don't know what the EpiPen's for, but... What, an allergic just, reaction to something in the crotch? It just depends. On maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you ate something weird for, <laughs> for dinner the day before, and like all of a sudden... Peanut. <laughs> yeah. I have a peanut allergy before you sit on my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. That is, I, I'm gonna probably have to use that on stage at some point. <laughs> I mean, that was a that is a brilliant joke in the making. <laughs> oh. All right. So now, what is your now? Do you still see the doctors or anything? No. Now, what is your? I have to go to a chiropractor weekly for my back, but mm-hmm. now, what is your? It, what is your goal? What do you want to do? What like, what are some of the other... Just, like, in general? Yeah, some of the things, like, I mean, you're always doing so many things. Like, what is... You know, my biggest one is I really want to help women come out of their shell. So, a couple years ago, before COVID craziness, I actually hosted a photography session at Stage 1 Studios. Mm-hmm. And it was for people that either had in Photoshop or, you know, done photo shoots before, had confidence issues... So I think I'm going to get with Sean again and see if I can't do it for maybe something this fall. Because I had some photographers and a, um, a makeup and hair artist. And they came and they did it. Um, but I just, I really want women to step outside and see what we see. Yeah. Like, you know, that is, that's my goal is just to make, I, I don't know. I always tell people, like, women should not be putting down other women. At all. There's literally one of us. Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. But like, and I look at it. I look at it too. It's it. When I, I really think that the bad is so few and far between. Like, I know this may sound crazy. But like, I feel like the bad people that are like dragging people down are so few and far between. But their voices hurt our feelings so bad that it stands out so much. There's a it, it, it happens to a lot of folks. Like I see it all the time on Facebook. Like women will tell you know like these stories of people just body shaming them or talking bad about them and it just baffles my mind Mm -hmm. nobody's ever done it to my face but i'm sure people do it behind my back Mm -hmm. i I don't care but i mean it bothers me that these beautiful 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 women are going through this and they're having to deal with it you know even like so when i had posted a podcast episode about how i was molested when i was a kid um, it, it really took me a lot to do that. Like I'd never even, there was very few people that ever even knew about it. So when I posted that episode, the, and then when like, I got hundreds of like, oh my God, like I just like incredible people and, and what a like awesome, great people and messages. And then I got a couple of messages like, you're making that up or you're just lying. You just want it. Like what? Like and it, it was, it was I real and I actually sat on those negative messages almost more than I did the the positive ones of love and just when I could have just deleted and disappear like but they they really just sucked and and then that's the same thing with the, like these women and stuff that are you know yes a uh, hundred women tell you you're beautiful and then the first woman that walks past you and says okay fat ass mm. or you know like. Why, why don't you go eat another cheeseburger or, or yeah. why don't you go throw your dinner up? But like those negative things, they leave fucking scars and on the inside. They do. You have to get to a certain level of mentalness that just doesn't bother you. Like it does not bother me. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. And there's, I always tell people this, like when you go to the restaurant and you have a bad experience, how likely are you to complain to corporate Versus having a positive experience. I mean, I, 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 I'm never going to take enough time to complain to corporate. Well, okay, so most, most people, <laughs> <laughs> most people, right? Like, they're going to complain if they have a bad issue. Yes. So people are so used, like, that's all you hear is, like, the people you, are just so used to that negativity coming, it sticks with you. You are so right, when because, like, you, how many people ever say, wow, my server, leave, leave a message for the managers, mm-hmm. like, wow, my server was great. I will purposely do that because I know how, I know the ratio. Like, mm-hmm. they get 10 to 1, mm-hmm. you know, that comes through 
So it's the same way with like feedbacks and comments and social media is just awful. But I mean, people just hone in on that negativity because they're just, they're just, well, that's what else I can work on. Or, you know, it's just, it's just something for them to focus on. But it's because people are so sad. It's those people are so sad and miserable in their own worlds. Yeah. Like, and I, I know it's, I'm not giving them a pass card. I'm not giving them a get right. out of jail free. They, they, I just look at them and I'm like, man, I just, what is so, like, you need to figure out your life before you start destroying somebody else's. Like, it is, it is so common though. It is, it's so common for people just to beat down other people when the other person's not even looking for a fight. No, but people just do it out of spite. Like, women in particular will just pick apart. Like, Ashley Stewart, I had this dress on and they reposted it on their page. Women came for me. They did. And I took a screenshot. And it wasn't my intention for, for, for like, my Facebook friends to go after them. It wasn't. <sighs> I was just showing, you know... What is out there? Your friends but, attacked? Oh, yeah. That's great, though. That's But, you know, my message back, to, I replied back to her. I'm like, you know, thank you so much. You know, I appreciate it. But, you know, we're living in a world where women should not be hating on other women. And they literally picked me apart. They talked about my toes. They talked about, and this dress I was wearing, I was revealing too much. I'm like, it, it, it's a mini dress. Like, I don't get it. I, I will show you myself in a bikini. That's, I will gladly, or pasties. Yeah, I mean. But, you know, just because if you have your own insecurities, do not come at me with them. Yeah, I, I, I completely understand. And the, But that that feeling, though, too, when people have your back, mm -hmm. like, it is such an overwhelming feeling. It's just incredible when people have your back. I, know I have it a lot so of really silly. good friends on Facebook. And some of them I never even met. That's awesome, <laughs> like, though. Well, I mean, it's 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 great because I want that mentality. Like nobody's perfect, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody hates something about themselves. I mean, for me, it took a very long time to love everything about me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think it's that mentality where, like, you can come at me, you can tell me I'm fat, you can tell me I'm ugly. I'm like, all right, high five. <laughs> oh my, no, but you're you're none of the you're none of those things. And what you are is an incredible person, and I. I I think that you're so incredible. I need to get you out of this basement because <laughs> you're so wet. I am tea. so hot. So we're going to get out of here. We're going to wrap <laughs> this thing up. We're almost right at an hour. So this is great. Where can everybody find your stuff at? And I, you're going to have to come back on the podcast like yeah, 100%. Yeah, totally. yeah, we'll yeah. just make sure it's colder in here <laughs> next time. <laughs> um, actually, you can find me on my Facebook page. It's just Judy Creighton. It's Judy with an I. And we will attach everything below. We'll probably put some pictures of you up on throughout the episode on the video. This is Shot 30 Podcast. I'm Shane Newbert. Shot 30 Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox, YouTube, all those things. I am fucking hot. I and right. goodbye. And I love you. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank, thank you, you for having me. It was fun. <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my. Oh.